Hello. What you are about to watch right now is a testimonial from one of my clients explaining the, their, their perspective of the program, explaining what they've been through, explaining who they are now and how it's different from, from where they were before they joined the program. But the reason why I wanted to make this quick introduction is because my client Love Deep that you're going to see, he told me afterwards and he said, Chase, I'm completely, I'm completely cool, man, if you want to redo this video. Today has been an extremely long day. I did so much speaking. I feel exhausted mentally and physically. I feel like I stuttered more than what I normally do. I feel like I'm, I'm on one of those days right now because I'm so, so exhausted. I told him, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm going to keep this in here. Only one take for everything that I shoot because I want it as authentic as possible. I don't want to give you any false expectations. I'm not saying if you join my program, you're going to be 100% good for 100% of your life. There will be times where you're so mentally and physically exhausted where you're not showing up how you expect yourself to show up. And it may hurt. It may hurt. It may feel like, oh, there was so much pressure and I didn't p perform the way I wanted to. That's okay. That's fucking human. That's fucking human. And if you're on this journey right now and you're trying to, trying to be perfect, stop it. I still have off days. Every few months, I, I have a day where I just feel off. And that's okay, okay? So I, I, wanna put, I wanna put this in here as a reminder. There's no 100% fix. There's no 100% cure. There's no, no. It's about consistency. You will have inevitable bad days. That's completely fine. As long as you keep showing up, that is all that is in your capabilities. That's all that's in your power. That's all what's in your control is you showing up. And when you have bad days, get through them. Just keep going. All right. I love you. Enjoy this video. And I'll see you soon. Peace. Hello and welcome everyone to this video. In this video, I will be interviewing Love Deep, who has just graduated from the Overcoming Stuttering Academy. He's done the 10 weeks and I asked him to join this call to share his experience of what it was like, what are some takeaways, and just overall what his experience was inside of this program. So. Love deep, man. How are you? How are you doing? Hey, Chase, man. I'm doing quite well, actually. How are you? I'm doing amazing. I'm doing amazing. We just got off a group call, so I, I I've spilt all my reasons why I'm doing well all all already. Got the new tattoo. Got the uh, going to gain a bunch of weight. I got the con that contest this month, so I have a bunch of reasons to, right. to 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 be doing good, man. Let's awesome. let's start with uh, introduction. Can you tell us your name, um, what you do, and where you're from? Yeah, sure, man. Um, well, my name is Lovdeep Handar. Um, I live in the Bay Area, um, born and raised here, um, and I currently work as a um, and I'm healthcare auditor, um, for the uh, government and yeah. So my first question to you, Love Deep, is when you started thinking about overcoming your stutter, working on your speech, why was it important for you to dedicate energy towards this? Well, Chase, I had a lot of, um, personal goals um that i wanted to be able to accomplish i guess um especially in the next couple of years um and also at work i was already doing a lot of presenting and even like public speaking so i was struggling with that um and i had just luckily you know you're post popped up on my 
Facebook timeline and I just put a, you know, a comment on there and then you reached out and um, it's been going very, very well. My next question to you is what was your biggest frustration about your speech or in general um, before joining this program? Not being able to express what I wanted to express verbally. Um, I really struggled with that, man. Um, I found my a self, uh, you know, avoiding specific, you know, combos or not speaking up at work, not speaking up at school, um, and not preaching my own you know knowledge at times um and that would make me really um it really lowered my self-esteem because i was not um you know i was not uh, able to be a part of a you know a conversation and um that would really really just it's pissed me off at times personally, you know, and I wanted to be able to verbally express what I, you know, what I know. And yeah, I mean, just being a part of the program now um, and going through all of it, uh, I, I'm able to do that um, and not be, uh, I'm hesitant to speak up. I think that's a very, very big change i've kind of witnessed on my own so yeah yeah man and you you touched on a a point a lot of people don't talk about you touched on a point well first of all you said which a lot of people struggle with is expressing themselves freely and not feeling Mm -hmm. inhibited to do that but you also mentioned a side that i've heard a few times but i know it's a pain in a lot of people and it's it's just the more deep thing you said about having certain knowledge and not feeling like you can't express that, not feeling like you can. Like you, you're a smart person. You, you, you've you gone to school for a long time. You know what you're talking about. There is a huge pain inside of everyone, of anyone who feels like they have shit to share, but they just mm-hmm. don't because of fear or anxiety or whatever that may be. What are the main benefits you have noticed from joining this program? Man, there's a lot, man. Um, But personally, I see that I'm, yes, I am more expressive, but I also feel comfortable to speak. I mean, the stutter that I had, man, um... It's still there, but is not as extreme. I'm not trying to um, hide it. I'm, you know, comfortable with it. And my personality is popping out a lot more in whenever I speak. Um, another benefit, man, is that I'm not um, hiding away from making a call. I'm not um, hiding away from I'm asking a you know a question at the store or at the mall or whatever at um, Home Depot. All these small uh, issues I had, man, beforehand, um, they are no longer there. Right on, man. And the first thing you talked about was how how it's more comfortable, how it's more easy to speak even when you stutter. And this is something yeah. that we, we've we mentioned a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, is the secondary movements going down. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that is something that makes it very anxiety filled for a lot of people to speak, is when they have secondary movements with their hands or with their face, or with their body that they force the word out. They're forcing it and forcing it and forcing it, getting out of breath, getting to the end of the sentence like they just ran a fucking marathon. They're out of breath, they have no breath left. 
um what has your what has your experience been with basically having i don't know moderate to severe um se- secondary ro- movements to barely any yeah. at all working w- with you man it was the exact opposite you you know, wanted us to work on our um our personalities as well and expressing who we actually are and you put that as our top priority and then speech you know it came after and i have witnessed a very big decline in my uh, my you know a secondary movements um and others around me have also noticed that as well um that was a very very big issue i had just because i was trying um, harder to hide my stutter rather than you know let it out and this program really uh you know it, it really trans of 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 formed my mind into understanding that it was okay to stutter and that's a fucking big deal thank you man for sharing all that you shared sharing your experiences i really appreciate it and so does everyone else watching who's interested in joining and wanting to hear your take on it and for everyone else who's interested in joining the the program there's no better time than the fucking moment you're in right now you're always going to have an excuse to not do it. Believe me, it will. the excuse will sound good too. Like Love Deep says, it's not the right time. Or you just need to learn a little bit more. Or you need to evaluate some more coaches or whatever it may be. You're always going to have an excuse that's going to keep pushing it aside. The truth is, if you're watching this, you probably aren't completely fulfilled with where you are. With your expressiveness. With the way you present yourself and your personality to other people. Why wouldn't you want to start that? The, the, the time is going to pass either way. The time is going to pass either way. It's up to you to start, start the process now of becoming the most authentic version of yourself or in two years or in five years when the time has passed. It doesn't matter. So if you're interested in joining, if you're interested in coaching with me, and with all our family, with Love Deep, and with everyone else inside the program as well, then you can click on the closest link down below in the description. You can book your free one-on-one call with me where we will talk, we will evaluate your situation and see if this would even be a good fit for you, okay? So with that being said, again, Love Deep, thank thank you, man, I appreciate you, and uh, Gotcha. It's been a fucking pleasure so far, and it's just, it's just, it's just the beginning. Yeah, yes, it is. Yes, sir. Fucking right. Thank you again, Chase. My pleasure. Peace out, everyone. Peace, peace.